However, I had the opportunity to ask Kirsty whether Yowies eat lyrebirds. And that was really interesting actually, because when I asked her, do Yowies eat lyrebirds? The answer was no. Um, and I then proceeded to ask, wow, this is getting a bit sketchy. I then proceeded to ask, uh, is she just speaking for herself? Or, there's some water in here, or, uh, to, like, is she speaking for all yaois? Was basically what I was wondering, like, or uh, uh, is she just speaking for herself? Do I go down there? I don't know. Let's do it. Um, and, whoa. Is that a yaoi hole? Could that be a portal into a subterranean realm? Probably not. Um, Jesus. Wow. Hmm. It's looking bit too wet and ferny down there. Let's stay up on the ridge, shall we? It's like a choose your own adventure. Hmm, yeah, let's go up here. Um, so, she actually did tell me that there are some Yowies um, or creatures on that same kind of vibration that same frequency that we're not always able to perceive and they're all around by the way they're, they're not just way out in the bush they, they come in at night sometimes they take the shape of a wombat sometimes they use wombats holes to hide when they need to um, sometimes they they can morph and appear like a termite mound um, yeah, anyway, uh, so she said that some Yowies do lose their way, um, when they're not properly, uh, integrated with a, a larger Yowie community. So the ones that are, um, abducted and indentured into servitude for other alien races to come and collect materials. Um, and then they get taken back up into craft and, you know, flown back to their Antarctic portal or whatever. Um, they, they just don't know how to act, basically. Um, they haven't been educated by older, wiser Yowies. They've lost their way, you know, maybe they're sort of, they could be totally kind of brainwashed, a bit like a, like some Manchurian candidate or something. They've been through a system of, um, an elaborate and clever system of control whereby their actions are not entirely of their, their own, um, will and which, which is obviously an advantageous, um, it's advantageous if you're the ones controlling them to harvest what you need from the surface of this earth. Um, and I think in that instance, those Yowies, um, they use Yowies, should I say, because um, they're the closest thing to an Earth-like creature that they have access to um, in this realm. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of, we're, we're sort of co-inhabiting this planet with many creatures. Um, 
However, some of them are just so bizarre that if they were um, encountered by the humans, they'd just cause too much of a stir. And the Yowies is sort of like the closest thing to a to a human or a monkey that um, that they can find. It's a bit too wet for those shenanigans. Um, so that that might explain that.